They allow you to get away with more here than they do in the state. Slayers here are used to playing physical. And That's why guys like Sean Reddish and Greg Heyer, they live at the free throw line. Uh, but that first year is an import. Don't expect any calls. Just play it through and don't complain. Yeah, chasing dreams like they was dollars. No, she got me deceiving without the commas. Um, what inspired me to make the move to Australia to play basketball was just a chance to keep chasing my dream of playing basketball professionally. I believe that's why any import um, comes to the league, to establish a name for yourself and to prove yourself and actually make a living from it. There's nothing better than getting paid to do something you love, because then it's not work. You love it. For them things that we doing now, doing now, you know, honey, we done better around. All the drama that I cause, I still around, you still around. So I've just come back from St Mary's College of California. It's based just out of San Francisco. It's quite a small private college, but I'm really glad I went to a small college because you get to meet everyone and you're never really alone. So you always walk in somewhere and know someone. Definitely the English is the number one thing. I mean, so I've been to countries where there's no English, so that's hard to get around. But I mean, here, Australia is pretty much the same as playing back in the States. Everyone um, welcomes you with open arms and it's just been really well so far. Uh, you're a thousand of miles away from the people you care about most. And if you want to see them, it's $2,000 and a 16 hour flight later. Um, easy for some but not for most. Just to kind of see the world, also to try to take my basketball to a different level. Yeah, to keep, just keep playing and do the best I can. And um, if there's another, maybe go to Europe after this, and potentially if Hawks want me back or the SBL, we'll see what happens. Do what I have to do um, to win a championship, and then hopefully after this season, I'll be able to go play. Um, um, in another country or possibly stay here and play again, so we'll see. I'm not looking too far ahead, but I'm currently coaching and pouring everything I have into a great group of kids here uh, at a school in Plano, Texas. They listen, they work hard, and they respect the game. Uh, but if I had to say what's next, it would be leading them to a state championship.